In this video, we're showing you how to make five Easter-themed scroll saw projects in woods. Similar to the other projects that we've demonstrated, you start this process off by preparing your woods. What we're going to do, we're actually going to have two different coloured woods within this project. So that's the first thing that we start off doing, is to screw the two different coloured pieces of wood together. After this, we continue with our preparation. So we get our designs prepared, and then proceed with sticking them onto the wood itself. Once they're all stuck onto the wood, and we've prepared it, we can then start marking out the designs that we're going to cut out on our scroll saw using carbon paper. Of course there's other methods that we use and that you can use including sticking the design itself using different glues and transferring the design in this way. So for those of you who are interested then in what we do. If you're interested in having a go at these different things yourself, we work with a Hegner Multicut 2S and the blade that we use is a Niqua number no. 9 reverse tooth blade. Whilst these projects then are themed around Easter, as we always say, you can adapt the project to cater for whatever you are doing and whatever you're interested in doing. So all of our designs, all of our ideas, you can adapt those to suit what you are doing. Now on to the actual work on our scroll saw. We start off by cutting the outline of our rabbit and our chick with the two pieces of wood stuck together. We then take them apart and do the pierce work on the top layers. This is because we're going to have that contrast of the back layer coming through, something that we've used on a number of our different themes. After this then, we're focusing first of all on our chick design. We take our top layer and we do all of our pierce work on the top layer. We then sellotape our top layer and our bottom layer back together. Because what we're going to do, we're going to cut out the shell on top that will go on top of the chick's head, the shell that it sits in as well, and the word joy at the top. So that's what we're doing in terms of this process. It has different stages of cutting out on our scroll saw. Now as we go along, when we're doing different projects, quite often we adapt and change what we're doing as we go in. And we thought that this design would suit having a background. So we've done it in a Easter egg style shape. So we've cut it out on our bandsaw, drilled a hole in the back for hanging, and this then can be used as a background to stick our design together. So we get our super glue, and we stick down our chick, the eggshell that it's breaking out of, and the word joy above. Once this is finished, we then shellac our project using two coats of shellac sanding sealer, rubbing it down with a fine sandpaper in between. We then have a finishing coat of linseed oil mixed with beeswax. So there you go, that is our first Easter themed project is to make a chick breaking out of the egg. On to our second project and we're again on our scroll saw. We have those two pieces of wood. In this case we're using some alder and some mahogany. We cut the profile of our rabbit that's holding the easter egg out. We then go on to doing the pierce work, so drilling those holes, 
ready for doing all of our internal cuts. It's then back on to the scroll saw once we've done those pierce cuts and we cut out where we want the gaps in our top layer. Once we finish with our pierce work on our top layer, we sellotape the two layers back together and proceed with cutting our Easter egg shape away. The reason for this then, we're gonna use the back layer as the front of the Easter egg, so it'll contrast nicely the color of that top layer. We're gonna add a third color, just a few little pieces of teak, and these are going to be used for the eyes of our rabbits. Afterwards, we sand everything down nice and smooth and proceed with sticking our project together. So just using a little bit of super glue, because this is a small project, super glue will stick it together nicely. So we stick our top layer to the back layer. We then stick the Easter egg towards the front and then stick the eyes in position. Same with all of our projects, we then go on to adding two coats of shellac sanding sealer rubbing down in between and then a finishing coat of linseed oil mixed with beeswax. Moving on to our third project. And in some ways this is slightly easier because you are only working in one single piece of wood. Now, at the start of the video you may have noticed that we did our preparation work where we drew our design on and drilled the holes for doing the pierce work. So we're going straight on to doing the pierce work. And in projects like this I generally do the pierce work first, gives you a larger piece of wood to grip and this, not a big issue on this project, but on some projects, having a larger piece of wood can make it easier to grip. Good example of this project for how we always have a story and a message in the work that we do. So we've got our rainbow at the top with the three lines that we thought would represent the Trinity. We've got the doves that represent peace and hope, and that word hope written in between. So you've got a message and a story that we've included in this project. As I mentioned, we do all of our pierce work, get all of those cuts organized, cut them all out, and then afterwards, we cut the outline and the profile of our project. Once it's all been cut out, we then go on to our belt sander, just to get a nice smooth finish. We've also done a little bit of hand carving just to bring out the word hope a little bit more and to get a little bit of separation between the rainbow and the doves. And then the same as the other projects, finishing off using shellac sanding sealer, linseed oil and beeswax. For those of you who are going to use a similar method, when it comes to your finishing, we advise working in the direction of the grain. On to our fourth project and another message, another story within the work that we're doing. So the idea with this, we've got the silhouetted candle inside the cross and the word faith either side of it. So a similar process to the previous project. We did our preparation at the start of the video, drilling those holes for the pierce work. We then cut all of the internal cuts out and then finish off by cutting that profile. Generally speaking, that's the approach that we would take is to do our pierce work first and the advice we would give you as we mentioned, if you are starting out, do your pierce work first, if at all possible, and then cut your outline. Once again, we sand everything on a finishing sandpaper using our belt sander. It's also worth noting, we mentioned with the finishing, how you put your 
finish on working with the grain. It is the same process then when you're working with the sander. Make sure that you sand everything nice and smooth in the direction of the grain. That way you'll avoid putting little scratches and marks that will come out in the finish. We're adding extra detail with our hand carving skills and then the same as the other projects using shellac sanding sealer and linseed oil mixed with beeswax to bring up a nice finish. On to the final project. So we've got the ichthys with an impression of the cross inside and the word love. Now it's worth noting if you're new to scroll sawing or if you are interested in having a go at making any of these projects, we have a page on our website that I've included in the description of this video and all of the templates for these projects, they are available for you to use for free on our website. So if any of you wanna have a go at making these projects, head on over to our website and you can use those resources, print them off, and you can have a go at making these items. So you can see we did the same thing with this one. We did all of our pierce work. We then cut the profile in our older and we're then on to our finishing process. Sanding it all nice and smooth, ready for adding our chosen finish. I mentioned that the wood we've used is older, a little bit of a softer wood to work in, uh, but for a project like this, it did the job without any problems because we're only doing a little bit of hand carving. So as you can see, we just do a little bit of extra hand carving to bring out the detail. One thing I love with the finishing is that you get to really see the color and character of the wood coming out. So finishing it off just to bring up that color in the woods. And there you go. Those are our five Easter theme projects. Let us know in the comment section which one of those is your favourite and which one do you plan on having a go at making yourself. Don't forget, if you're going to have a go and you want the template, the pattern for making those, check that link in the description. Hopefully it will help you out. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we upload another video. A happy and healthy Easter to you all. And as always, thank you again for watching.